For the Thank You Ocean Report, I'm Jerry Kay. Scientists are seeing a significant increase in the number of sea lion strandings throughout California. It is mostly the pups who are coming ashore after being born on islands along our coast. When they come ashore, they're thin, they're dehydrated. A lot of them, you can actually see their bones. They just don't have enough on their bodies. And remember, they've just made a swim over from the islands. So that's taken a lot of energy as well. So they started out low. They left mom early, and part of leaving mom early is they haven't really developed the ability to forage on their own that well. Justin Visbicki is the California Stranding Network Coordinator for NOAA Fisheries. What we're theorizing and talking with the scientists who work out on the islands and the climatologists is that this warmer water that we have off the coast of California is basically changing the prey location so that the mothers are having to forage longer durations and for periods of time that would keep them away from the pups basically longer than normal. And that's causing the pups to basically be smaller and maybe even leaving the islands earlier than they normally would. So they're not staying with mom long enough to get what they need. And even if they do, mom may not be able to provide enough because of these long distances and times that they're away from the pups. Many of these emaciated pups we haven't seen because for the most part, they're born out on islands along the coast. Typically, mothers stay with the pups initially. Then as the pups get stronger, the mothers stay away longer, in some cases, days at a time. But here on the mainland, when we're seeing these pups now, they've already separated from mother and we wouldn't expect them to to be seeing their mothers at all anymore. And the number of sea lion strandings is definitely on the rise. Right now, as of about February 17th, the year-to-date numbers that have come into our California facilities, and this is all of the facilities, is about 940. Currently, we have about 550 animals in our facilities throughout the state. So this is, you know, a lot higher than what we would normally see. Normally, we're talking, you know, around 200 a year, and clearly we're at 945 that have already come in at about six weeks. So we are significantly higher than normal. And again, the warmer waters that are occurring off our coast are contributing to the increase in sea lion strandings, which was something scientists had actually anticipated. With warmer waters, we do actually see higher numbers of strandings. And because of that, we had actually anticipated this year that we were going to see a higher number of strandings. In working with our scientists that go out onto the islands, they're out there throughout the year. They're taking measurements of the pups. They're looking at the growth rates. They're able to get a lot of information early on to kind of help us and let us know what to expect. So their information paired with the warmer waters that even though we're not in an El Nino, the presentation is very similar. We're seeing a lot of very warm water all around the coast. And that's changing things. Those ocean characteristics are leading to what is being observed right now. One of the groups helping in this situation is the California Stranding Network, which tries to help with all marine mammals. Members of the network recover animals when they're injured or in need. They work on rehabilitating them with the goal of releasing them back into the wild. We also focus on science, and that's a real important component of what we're doing. Gain, the science is actually gained from a lot of the rehabilitation process. So it's kind of an offshoot of the rehab that's actually almost more important because it provides us insight not only to the animals that we're working with, but to kind of ecosystem questions and and provides more information. It's kind of helping us look at what's going on in our marine environment here off California. And that's Justin Visbicki, coordinator of the California Stranding Network. And here's your Thank You Ocean Everyday Action. Justin told me that there are many things we can do to help. First is to report sightings of stranded animals. Members of the network can use the help of volunteers to assist in sea lion recovery and rehabilitation. And your financial assistance is always appreciated by the members of the California Stranding Network. We've got links for you and more information at thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.